who are in Seer. Who knows where Gilly is? Hopefully we don't get a random Gilly encounter, right? But anyways, that's looking out the cupola. I actually want to... There we go. This is what I want to look out. <laughs> this is from the back of the liner. It's from the cockpit of the liner. You look up it. Up the entire part of it. And the cool thing is the RCS. I mean, when you burn the RCS, you can see it puffing out up on the nose. How long is she? We should have seen, we should have totally seen how long she was. Let's watch Eve come up from this angle here. Dude, the toasty one, 3125. Thanks for joining Kerbal Space Academy, man. We're going out to Eve. We've got the luxury lander. I'm going to upload this ship at the end of the stream so you can download it if you want it. I'll upload the fueler for you too. I, always, I never want to like stop in the middle of the stream, right? But let's, uh, let's time warp on up and let's watch her come in. We're going to get like lambasted by Gilly from the side. We exploded. It'd be hilarious. Couple alarm clock. Three hours. This is your captain speaking. Up the bow, you can see us approaching Eve. It's one more than 126. You're right. 127. <laughs> is throbbing? Yeah, you're right. Like when you do it, you can see it. <laughs> As we pass Eve, I'll actually be turning the ship. So that off the port side, you can get a good view of her. We've got a cabin on the port side of the ship. Go ahead and look out your window now. <laughs> Anyways, there's like ice on the glass or something, which is cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and warp on down there. What are we at? One hour faster. We sure come up to her fast, don't we? This is your captain speaking again. Please ensure your seat backs and tray tables in the upright and locked position because we're about to freaking get set on fire to lose velocity. <laughs> I wonder how many G's we're going to take. Moho's a close second. Nice. All right, we're coming up to Eve from the cockpit. And did you see did you see where the cockpit was situated? It's like on the top way at the back, right? There's that. Check Looks like we're still good. It's like shrinking. I don't know what that means. It's just the way it does the rounding, I guess. We're coming up on Eve. You're about to get a show, folks. Eve out the window. We're like icing up or something? Look at Eve. Out that window. It's pretty cool. Too bad the uh, crew pods don't have IVAs. I'd love to look out the window and see Eve. I wish you could see Kerbals in the crew pods. That would be awesome. But that would be a lot of processing power. Anyways, how are we doing? We're coming in at five kilometers a second, guys. That's actually pretty darned fast. Casper, where's Casper? Nice, Casper, dude. Take it off. Off to uni and present shopping and stuff and things. Good night. Good luck and congratulations on 1K followers. Dude, Casper, dude, I appreciate you hanging out, man. You're welcome here anytime, of course. I mean, I shouldn't even say stuff like that. But I do appreciate you spending some time here, man. It's good to, good to see you. And thanks for all you do with KSP, by the way. Community manager, I think, right? The thing. I see you post a lot. Casper, I, actually, you're the one. I read your how-to on how to do. You're probably gone. But I read the how-to you put up on how to stream KSP. And, like, within freaking 10 minutes in OBS, I was, like, upstreaming KSP. If anybody has a link to that, uh, you could totally do a link to that. It's a how-to stream KSP. That Casper, I believe it was Casper's name on it. They put it together. <laughs> Kate played KSP in real time. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go over here. Our gauges are going off. This isn't looking good. The KOS Fatal Exception. Not sure I want to arrow break with the Fatal Exception. That gauge over there is spinning like crazy. <laughs> oh, I've got my own copy. Do I have my own copy of the Fatal Exception? Vertical speed pegged out in the negatives. Switches, check. Ice, check. Let's go ahead and go out to the exterior view. There we go. It is about time for us to arrow break this puppy. That was an Alt F5, by the way. Eve. Arrow Cap. It's actually... This is an epic song for the Eve Arrow Capture. Let's see what she's got, folks. Nelford, you may want to get in someplace safer than the cupola. Because <laughs> the cupola pointing forward is probably going to get a little bit of heat. A little hot up there. There might be some turbulence. <laughs> the B9 Mark II crew pods have IVAs, really? Oh, that's... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Vettel... Vet... 
Vet Linby. The buy date was August of last year. Beginning of August of last year. Nice, Syrian dude. If you could toss that into a command, um, that would be awesome. Like stream or something. Stream KSP or something would be totally awesome, man. Totally awesome. Want a point retro? Want a point progray though? Here we go, guys. Listen to the epic music and prepare to get hot. There we go. Bleeding off 5.5 kilometers per second. She is gonna light it up. She is gonna light it up. Print screen that right there. <laughs> so cool. The Kerbals are dancing apparently. How's this IVA look? <laughs> oh my gosh! Probably a little shock heating up here. That atmosphere is thicker than you think. What about the other cams? Look at this, guys. You can see the flames coming off of the parts of the ship. That is an excellent F2 print screen. <laughs> so freaking cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> print that screen. Got Eve out the side there. Look, we can see Eve out the side. Print screen. I'm probably going to crash because I'm like taking too many pictures, right? There we go. We are still bleeding off. We've only bled off a kilometer per second. We're definitely... We've got a hot side. We've definitely got a hot side on this puppy. Let's rotate her a little bit so we can uh, put some speed on the other side. There you go. <laughs> wow. Let's check our orbit. Look at that, though. We're sucking it on down, boss. We've already passed the periaps. We're going to lose these flames pretty soon. Look at that. There go the flames. Yes! This ship would be really easy to hide behind a heat shield that was big enough. A big heat shield up here. I mean, look how streamlined she is, right? And we're out of the flames. Was that my primary buffer panel? The primary buffer panel just fall off my Goram ship? <laughs> look at that. So actually, if we came around again... If we came around again, we would actually impact Eve. We would land on Eve, and this ship is not designed to do that. Is it getting hot in here, or is it just Eve? <laughs> Better roll over so you get a nice even cooking. <laughs> uh, this is a captain. We're having a little problem with our entry sequence, so we may experience some slight turbulence and then explode. <laughs> Love that show. All right, so let's do some trickery. I do not want to impact Eve. That is not what I want to do today. Here's what I'm going to do. Out here at my Apo apps, I'm going to put a node. No, I'm not. I'm not going to put a node. Forget it. I'm actually just going to type warp around. I'm going to put a node so that I can time warp to it. One minute out. Now I'm going to delete the node because I don't really need the node. I just wanted the alarm at the node, right? Easiest way to do it. 39 minutes. Let's get her on up there. Look at us around Eve. On the dark side of Eve, no less. That's cool. Fuel, we're still good on fuel. I'm not even worried about fuel. We still have like 3,500 meters per second of Delta V. Ate my percent sign. No! Did I miss it? <laughs> ah, the masters of Lumen Redundance. Those who shed light on that which is already well known. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, we were just taking some screenshots, I guess. We don't really need them anymore. Look at the Eve Luxury Liner. I love it. Let's go to night mode, honestly. This will switch us around. That right there, everybody's sleeping. Miff! Miff65. Thanks for enrolling at Kerbal Space Academy. I'm Das Valdez. Not only do I do cool things, I teach you to do cool things. Because KSP is awesome. Join me on Saturday for Kerbal Boot Camp if you've never played the game before. <sighs> I'm good. Let's take a screenshot, yo. Alrighty. Let's have to that, and I will show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to warp around to that alarm. Not really the right music. That's okay. Because I do not want to arrow break an Eve, but I do not want to waste Delta V on this. I don't want to waste Delta V on this. It's not something that I want to do today. So here's what we're going to do. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it on around, boss. That's my Apo apps. Close enough, at least. So here's what I'm going to do. Close alarm. Open this guy up. 
Point Prograde. Point Prograde. Blue Gaming. Dude, Blue Gaming. Thanks for joining Kerbal Space Academy. I am Das Valdez. I'm arrow capturing at Eve. Actually, now I'm arrow circularizing. But I mince words. All I want to do is at Prograde, or sorry, at Apo Apps, I'm going to burn Prograde. I'm going to get up out of that atmosphere a little bit, right? I do not want something that could break me from 5.5 kilometers a second down to whatever we had when we came out of there, too, or something like that, right? <laughs> What's up, Chacamole? Why are you up so early? You're up totally early. We are having an extended stream this evening because we crossed a thousand followers. Ding! Thank you for coming over, though. <laughs> ah, so here's what I'm doing, y'all. I've got the luxury liner. Good thing I saw the chat there. Everybody give Chacomoli, my significant other, an excellent hello. <laughs> so let's see here. I'm at Apoeps. I'm pointing prograde. I'm going to turn on my RCS, and I'm just going to go forward. Is that going to raise me up enough? Not really, but we will be able to get very fine adjustment from this. Not the most efficient way to do it. I should probably use the nukes, shouldn't I? I just want to barely miss it. And see how I get more as my Apo, my parry comes up, 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 up. I get less and less affected by it. What I want to do is this right here. Yes, bust out of the atmosphere. That looks great. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know how high that is. But I'm just going to put her in that orbit right there. Like that. We're good to go. RCS off. A little waste of fuel. That's okay. Chocomole hype. Yes, Chocomole hype. Everybody give Chocomole some hype. Kopendazavar <laughs> have been sleeping. They haven't been. <laughs> They've been hanging out. They have been hanging out. Dude, there's room for 127 Kerbals on here, and there are only three on board. They have plenty of room for activities. Terrence Boy 2, King Bianks. Both of you, thank you for enrolling in Kerbal Space Academy. Join me this week, and I'm going to be doing Kerbal Boot Camp. And say hi to Chakamole, because she's awesome. Sad music, though. This is the Beatles, isn't it? All right. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and watch it from here. I'm just going to warp around. I'm not worried about that. It's something with the estimation in the mod or something. That's F5 for safety right quick. F5 for safety. And let's see how this arrow break affects our orbit. I barely used any Delta V to do this circularization. It told me it was going to be like 2,000 meters per second. Uh-oh. That's okay, that's okay. As long as we bump up out of the orbit, that's okay, because when I'm at my Apo apps up here, I can burn again and circularize and use a little bitty tiny bit of delta V. Am I gonna I don't even think that I'm gonna heat up this time. I don't even think I'm pointing retrograde this time. Oopsie. Anime Is that how you pronounce that? Anime? Thanks for enrolling in Kerbal Space Academy. I think we're getting a lot of European action here. Let's let her let's let her ride. Jesus saves. Uh, Jesus saves. I'm going to give it a little bit longer. I'm going to give it a little bit longer before I do that. But thanks for asking, man. Coming on around, boss. Oh, no. Wrong wing dough. Screed. <laughs> I was in totally the wrong window. Wasting that fuel. Totally wasting that fuel. Das is keeping you up. How dare you, right? Oh, we are going to actually arrow break a little bit. Look at this. We're just getting a little bit of heating here. It would be awesome if we had a huge heat shield to hide behind. Or something we could dock to the rear of the craft or something would be awesome. From Norway, dude. International. I don't even... I'm probably butchering your name, by the way, but I do appreciate <laughs> you checking in from Norway. Where's everybody else from? I don't even know. Uh, I do have a survey. I would definitely have a survey. If you would be so kind... Oops, that's not how you spell survey at all. I'm going to crash into Eve. If you would be so kind to complete my survey and let me know where you're from. I don't care about your email or whatever. I only care about what you would like to see in Kerbal Space Program. Because that's what we do. We're looking good. We're looking good. Look at this orbit shape up, right? We're losing more velocity as we go through that atmosphere. As long as we don't lose so much that we're caught for good, that's the problem. Two arrow breaks. We saved how much delta V? We came in at 5.5, this orbit here, so that was definitely 20-something delta V. 
I mean, we've saved over 2,000. I wouldn't guess, I wouldn't doubt if we saved 3,000 Delta V just by doing that arrow cap and arrow break. Arrow cap and arrow circ here. Texas. Dude, Texas. Peace Skinner, you're up early, Peace Skinner. Russia, Denmark, Netherlands, UK, Norway, England, another Netherlands, Germany. How cool is that? Russia. Metropolit. Metropolit from Russia. Yes, hello. You could use real shoots, which comes with a huge inflatable Singapore? That's awesome. North Dakota. I'm sorry, Jesus Saves. <laughs> what did you lose a bet? <laughs> Sherith. Das, you could use real shoots, which comes with a huge inflatable one. Real shoots? It's got to be something else because I use real shorts. Colorado, California. California, man. 3 a.m. over there. Oh, I got to pay attention here. Everything is terrible. Everything is terrible. <laughs> Boston. Boston or Austin? Ohio, England. How many people are in this channel right now? This is freaking nuts. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna look. Then I'm gonna circularize. 127 people. We've carried over 100 people. Over 100 people. Georgia, do Demo Blaster. You're just a little bit. Look behind me and Demo. Are basically a little bit under me. Evil Genius, I'm about to upload it. Just let me circularize this orbit here. Out of physics work, by the way. Wouldn't it be hilarious if right now we lost our nose cone? <laughs> Eve, add maneuver. What are we there? Apo, 150. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. It was totally an accident. But here we go. Let's put her up to 150 so we are in a nice. We'll be raising our orbit up to 150 kilometers so that you can have a beautiful view of Eve as you eat your dinner this evening. Thank you for flying KSA. Is that a real airline? <laughs> click on it. If you click on it, it'll stick, right? Up to 150. Bing! Nope, almost. Bing! Nope, almost. Bing! Dang it. Bing! Bing! Oh, seriously? Bing! 149996 versus 150. That's a pretty darn non eccentric orbit, guys. Kev must do DOS. I love how much energy you have. <laughs> I'm running on like emergency reserves, so I am definitely going to go to bed. I'm keeping you up, Cypher. Just dude, not my fault. Not my fault. <laughs> F5 and smash that sucker. You missed it, Kimish. We already, uh. Belou, Paris, France? Yeah, I'm from Texas. I'm not gonna act like I can speak any sort of French. I will just get myself in trouble and make my fellow people in my country look like idiots. Anyways, welcome! Two Kerbal Space Academy. Uh, three minutes out, 35 second burn. Is that our full burn? Let's check the ship. Nukes are engaged. That's good. Main engine is not on. We're good to go. Night mode. Maybe we should wake up the cabin. You guys, wake the heck up. It's time to fly the ship again. <laughs> All right, let's go find that node. Pardon for the sniffling, guys. Oh, no. I'll turn that off. I'll let her rotate while I read the chat. A Wave Runner. You know it's on sale right now? I think I think we talked to you earlier. Yeah. It's totally on sale right now. It's 18 freaking dollars. In terms of dollars per minute. <laughs> I don't even know. It's like fractions of a cent per minute. We make ourselves look like idiots on a daily basis. <laughs> You're not wrong. Marka. You're not wrong. Dude, Jesus saves. Thank you for hanging out, good sir. I saw you tweeting and stuff like that. I'll stop by your place tomorrow, and I'll see how you're doing. No, no, turn this on over here. There you go. Stop that orbital twist. Ah, yes. So one more burn, and we're in a good 150 circular orbit at Eve. Wow, that sun rising, though. Really wish I had better, uh, if I had installed the better atmospheres pack. 35 seconds. You know we split our burns in half. If you've been around my sessions, you know. 35 divided by 2 is 30 divided by 2, 15, plus 6 divided by 2, 3, 18 seconds. So when I get down to T minus 18 seconds, that's when I'm going to want to do my burn. I want half my delta V on one side, half on the other side. It's not exactly that way because our thrust to weight does change. Whoa! Burn it. Our thrust to weight does change, but it's a good enough approximation for Kerbal Rocket Science. Yeah, there you go. You know the really cool thing is I can actually use these engines for roll control. You see a move? I can roll the craft by using the engines. 
because <laughs> they're not on the center of mass. There we go. Uh-oh, somebody's trying to mess up my burn. I have a fuel tank or something. 0.08, let's check our orbit. Engineer, talk to me, Goose. I need to know my orbit. 150, 148. Let's clean her up with RCS. RCS, H, 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 Waste of RCS, honestly. So, folks, here you have it. You've got the Kerbal Cruise Liner. It's the KSA Majesty. Because you wouldn't know Majesty if it bit you in the face. <laughs> Astronomers da -da -da is running on 0.25. Ooh, can you link me? Can you link me? That would be awesome. If you could link me. Eventually. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Here's what we're going to do, guys. I did promise earlier in the stream I'm going to do a tour of the shipwreck.